state has required us to show a positive fund balance on June 30, 2014. That is the only instruction that they have given us relative to, to what they they demand to see in the provable deficit elimination plan. We talked about just broad stroke, having something that gets us in the door to have that, that plan considered. It's our anticipation that the state's going to say, well, we've got to do that, then you have more than uh, there, there's a regulation. Part of the deficit elimination plan language says that you're supposed to correct those deficits in three years. Mm -hmm. it's, been, it's already been six years, and we haven't corrected it. Obviously, they have the authority to extend the, the deadline. But the people who are processing it says, show us something that has a zero, that has your above zero on the date that we set we expect this to be done, and the date they've announced is June 30, 2014. The modest surplus, the operating surplus that, that, that shows in the column immediately to the left of the one that you're looking at, mm -hmm. that's the jet. The, the one, the next one, you know, I don't anticipate that, that that's going to be the choice of the district if, in fact, you have to cut that kind of stuff, I would imagine you're going to talk about it a whole lot more than you talk about it. But that was a, uh, that, that was the strategy that we talked about in the Finance Committee meeting, uh, not a, a real plan to, you know, to take the, the district forward, but rather to, to satisfy the, the state's requirement that we show them a plan that nominally does solve the problem. We have a problem we deal with it. And they expect us to come up with a credible plan to deal with it. And, and we've got to have a plan and we've got to sell it to them. Can we also not expect from our state to follow the plan that they were supposed to fund schools under the Headley Amendment, I believe it's called? Can we not, as citizens and people that have been in this community a very long time, expect the state to do the same thing? If you would like me to put on my political hat, I bet I know, I know uh, frustrate you in, in that area. No, um, I've been to Lansing. I've had some conversations. I don't think that, well, I heard you complaining mm -hmm. five minutes ago. We got whacked, as did every other state, every other school district in the state. Uh, this district did not get an increase contrary to what the popular press said. Mm -hmm. uh, and I do enough work I can tell you, Ann Arbor did not, Ypsilanti did not, we did not, Saline did not, Dexter did not, but the other schools in the county did. And the reason does go back to the Proposal A and the way the, you know, the, the promise of Proposal A was to, to bring the bottom funded districts up and as hard as it is probably for you to believe, the lower run schools have been funded better than most schools in the state. We're in that, we're in that, that range of, of, of Above basic, below, below the whole harmless. But the, you know, you, you've gotten more than the base foundation grant here. And what the districts that, that are still at base got a, a couple hundred dollar boost. We did not. We're getting less money. If you look at the, at the total revenues, the reason I, I laid all those out to compare the state revenues, we had to add 50 kids to uh, you know, the assumption to get our revenues back up to where, where they were next year, particularly yeah, this year. You know, I, the state does not uh, fund the education well. Yeah. All right. So, and, and do you have anything else to say about that? Yeah, you're always welcome to come in. I'll show you all the, the yes. paper. And um, one more thing to vote on citizen um, comments. Can we please refrain from using people's names? Um, just talk to either specific department or the problem that you're addressing, uh -huh. so we don't want to put people out like that, okay? Just in future direction for anybody who wants to do a citizen's um, green sheet, okay? Ms. Queener. Hmm? Hey, is he the same as Queen? <laughs> 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 um, I just wanted to... Um, If you, um, my last day here, of course, June 28th, my contract is up, 
and it's not going to be renewed for next year. Um, I want to thank the board and Lawrence School. I get, I've been here 23 years, and I the day was supposed to be my last meeting, but actually I will be taking minutes for you next week. So, but I figure we want you guys are going to want to make that quick. So I didn't want to talk next week. Um, but I really, uh, I don't even know what I want to say because it's been a big part of my life, big part of my family. I'm going to miss everybody and I want to thank the board because I really enjoyed being, taking the minutes and being the board secretary when I was doing it. And even though I will be eventually relocating out of state, I'll be here for a while and I probably will be back in the state once in a while and I'll come and bother you all. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, and I'm gonna miss everybody. I really am. So you'll be missed also. Yes. I just wanted to say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Yeah. More yeah. comments. Uh oh. Relay for life is this Saturday and Sunday. Team 66 has a relay team. Uh, this year it's going to be hosted at. Uh, or Eastern Michigan's um, Lake House, 10 a.m. Saturday to 10 a.m. Sunday. And uh, if you guys are in the neighborhood, I'm sure 266 would have, we want to have to stop by and, and chit chat, see what's going on. Reminder about cleaning Saturday, and also we're gonna miss you, Cecilia. I've known you for years, probably most of those 23 years. Yeah, probably. Okay. So I'll expect to see you back. Any other more comments? Well, Miss Queen, I'm gonna miss you too. You know me, we get along pretty good. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I ask that you always stay in touch with us. And also, that meeting is um, June 23rd. Vision meeting is at the Interlanding Library Whitaker Branch. And then there's one on that following Monday, which will be the 25th. And it'll be hosted here at Will Run. So I would ask, especially the comments that we heard tonight and that we continue to hear, if you want to get the truth of the matter and the reason why things are being done the way that they are, we ask that you please come out and see it firsthand instead of getting it through the grapevine. Um, whether we want to believe it or not, we are in dire needs right now. Very, very dire needs. It, it, is, it is rough right now. And so if you want what's best for your kids and you want what's best for this community, I ask that you please come out and be a part of this um, future in the educational system for the Ypsilanti area. And one of the things that I learned back when we were reorganizing the, the elementary schools in here is that if you can, you should attend more than one meeting and bring a neighbor with you each time. Bring a different neighbor. Make sure you get other people involved in the conversation. That's the only way it's going to be a true valid conversation with the heart of the children as the target as it's meant to be. Can I say something too um, about that? Um, meeting um, with the consolidation. Um, some of the things that uh, um, Scott Menzel had talked to us about um, and part of the reason why we're even discussing this consolidation is that um, the state can um, allow the districts to wait to pay off their deficit. And I don't know if that's true or not. But, um, but he did say that in a 20-year um, it could be up delay, to up, to, up to 20 year delay. Um, also, he talked about um, uh, every student in this new district being able to um, receive college credit. Um, that's something that um, I'm excited about, but we should all come out to these meetings and find out about that, ask more questions. Um, um, get involved instead of Know, listening to rumors 